Okay, now to set up the else part of the uh, if conditioning, uh, what you do is you highlight the end if as well as the next bit of text that you're conditioning. Doing this will signal to Hotdocs when you pre press this if field button that you're setting up an if else structure. Um, and so if we have that highlighted and we click if, then you can see that instead of giving us the field types of if true false field or if expression, uh, we have else, else if true false variable, else if expression. So we have a bit more to play with. In this case, because the terms are mutually exclusive, we can safely use this else field type so that if the person, if the user has selected spouse as the custodial parent, then um, the uh, client uh, legal term will fill in here. Else, if the user has selected the client as the custodial parent, then the spouse legal term will fill in. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then you see it uh, puts the else in there and then kicks the end if down to the end of the statement. OK, so that's one, one example. Uh, we're going to do the same thing with this next um, example. And so I'm going to highlight the first term. And I usually go ahead and, and highlight the slash so that I capture that. And then I'm going to click my if field button and uh, if expression. And then uh, another way of bringing my terms in or to uh, go down here in available components and actually drag up child custodian. And then of course you got the operator column and you can drag up the equal sign. And then I'm gonna do control space bar. And since here we are setting up who the custodial parent is, then uh, things are pretty straightforward. If the custodian is client, then we want the client legal term to come in. Else, we want the spouse's legal term to come in. So we'll select client here and then click OK. And so then that gets our, our first part of our um, if conditioning. And then I'm going to highlight the end if and then go to the end of the spouse legal term. And I'm doing that by pressing my shift key and then my right arrow uh, until I get to the end of the text that I want to select. And then I click the if field button. And again, I'm presented with the field types and I'm going to go with the default else field type and click OK. And so then that sets it up to where if the child custodian is the spouse, then the uh, client legal term will fill in up here. So it'll be client uh, should pay child support directly to the and then spouse through direct deposit from and then um, and then we would set up another if conditioning here to account for whose uh, whose employer it is. Okay, so that's an example of conditioning text with an if-else.